In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to perform the exercise known as the good morning. So the good morning is an incredible exercise for developing strength of the posterior chain. That is the hamstrings and the back. It's also incredibly useful for developing hamstring and hip mobility, which is really useful for reducing the risk of injury in tennis. exercises that I include into all of my athletes training programs just because of how effective I think it is at developing important muscle groups for improving sports performance. The good morning is traditionally performed with a barbell on your back but if you do have any pre-existing shoulder issues you can also use a safety bar or even a kettlebell placed under your chin in a goblet squat position. The good morning is effectively performed by hinging at the hip and what I mean by this is by having a very subtle unlocking of the knee not bending the knee because we're definitely not trying to squat here but you slightly unlock the knee just so your knees are soft and then the aim is to try and push your hips as far rearwards as possible whilst keeping your spine neutral or flat with a subtle arch in the lower back in order to find a severe stretch in the hamstring the moment that stretch has been achieved, you engage or contract the glutes in order to thrust your hips forward and back into a standing position. The common mistake is for people to lean forwards. If you lean forwards, this is going to place more pressure on your back and you're not going to put any stimulus on the hamstrings. So it's very important that you visualize yourself pushing your hips rearwards. Your weight may change in where it's distributed. You might feel as though some of the weight is going through to your heel, and that's absolutely fine, provided that you maintain three points of contact, which is the heel and two points of contact on the ball of the foot. Of course, you don't want to overextend your back when doing this exercise. However, I find most people have the opposite issue whereby they end up overly flexing or rounding their lower spine. To avoid this, try and squeeze your shoulder blades together as hard as possible, whilst keeping a nice, proud, upright posture. You don't want to confuse this with extension of the lower back, so ensure that you are not exposing your rib cage by keeping your abdominals clenched and therefore your rib cage locked down. I hope this video was useful. As always, please do hit the subscribe button below and the button to the right-hand side of it, which is the bell icon, so that you get notified of our future releases.